Rhinoceros are a group of large herbivores famous for their distinct facial ornaments. Five species belonging to this family survive on Earth to this day. These species range in size from the rare Sumatran rhino to the enormous white rhino of Africa. Modern rhinoceros are joined by numerous species of extinct rhino which first appeared as far back as the early Eocene. The rhinoceros family is divided into two subfamilies, Rhinocerotinae which contains all extent rhinos and Elesmotherinae which includes a notable group of extremely large rhinoceros. Elasmotherium is a genus of extinct rhino which appeared around 2.6 million years ago in the late Pliocene. The first Elasmotherium likely evolved from Sinotherium, a similar rhinoceros from the late Miocene and Pliocene. Four species of Elasmotherium are currently recognized the most well-known of which is the youngest species, Elasmotherium sibiricum. This species survived until the late Pleistocene, a mere 39,000 years ago. Reaching a length of 15 meters and a shoulder height of over 2 meters, Elasmotherium was among the largest of all rhinos and rivaled even the woolly mammoth in size. Despite its bulk, this rhino had relatively long legs which were adapted to galloping. Elasmotherium was most likely covered in a layer of thick fur, a trait it would have shared with contemporary megafauna like Mammoth and the woolly rhino. Its most distinctive feature is a long horn extending from its head a characteristic which gives Elasmotherium its other name, the Siberian Unicorn. In order to hold up this massive ornament, Elasmotherium had a humped back of strong muscle tissue. This large rhinoceros is mainly known from fossils discovered in central Eurasia. Within this range, Elasmotherium likely lived in open grasslands and riparian areas. One paleontologist believed that this giant looked more similar to modern hippopotamus than rhinos. This theory was based on comparisons to the four-toed feet of wetland tapirs. However, this semi-aquatic depiction was never widely accepted and Elasmotherium has since been shown to have only had three functional toes like other rhinos. Instead, it seems that Elasmotherium had a lifestyle most similar to grazers like the white rhinoceros. In fact, the patterns of dental wear observed in Elasmotherium fossils are comparable to this modern species. Lacking any front teeth, Elasmotherium relied on a prehensile lip to strip vegetation. Stable isotope analysis performed on Elasmotherium teeth has confirmed that this animal's diet was predominantly made up of grasses. Unusually, its molars were ever growing and served to chew the tough grass it relied on. Another indicator of this rhino's grazing lifestyle is the downwards orientation of its head. This extreme angle meant that it could only reach the lowest levels of vegetation, and therefore would have been ill-adapted for any feeding strategy other than grazing. Towards the end of the Pleistocene, the Earth's climate began to cool. As a result, the low-lying grasses which were common across Eurasia were replaced by lichens and mosses. This shift of habitat was disastrous for the giant Elasmotherium, and soon afterwards this impressive species was forced into extinction. However, while it still walked the earth, Elasmotherium was among the most magnificent of all Pleistocene mammals.